talked about wanting to show that you had earned this spot. Do you feel like you did that tonight? I think I did earn my spot tonight. Um, I wanted to stay standing um, because everybody was expecting us to go to the ground. They, you see two brown belts, two world class champions, and they expect you to go to the ground. So I really wanted to showcase my skills standing up, and that's why I kept it standing. Do you think that right out of the first round, but you could tell that maybe she was sluggish, a little flat footed? I think so. Um, she she missed her weight cut, unfortunately. Um, so I do believe that that weight cut did hurt her a lot. Um, she did feel a little sluggish, um, her and, and her punches. I seen every one of them coming, except for a couple of them. She did keep sneaking a couple of them. <laughs> so when you want to work a game. I have a plan like you did uh, working with Doug Marshall. I know how did that help in preparation for this? <laughs> oh, my coaches are awesome. <laughs> and, and in fact, um, I have to give them a lot of credit because, you know, I was one of their first female fighters out of their gym um, in that area who allowed female fight to fight. So, and they were like, yeah, come on through. Um, so I give props to both of my coach, all my coaches. I, I can't just say I have two. I have a number of them. But my main two coaches, Tom and Doug, they have been tremendous in setting me up and preparing me for the big stage, basically. And being, a, <laughs> being a school teacher and as well as a mother, as well yeah. as training, how do you balance all of that time to be able to fight at such an elite level? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You know, you know, what I like to tell everybody is that if there's something that you truly want, you truly want it, and I really truly wanted this, you're going to find a way. You're going to make a way. So when I see those mothers who make excuses why they've left on their baby fat, I don't get that. I don't get it at all because if you want it, you can go out and get it. I did. You said you're a school teacher? I am a school teacher. High school. High school. Yeah. Um, like what do you teach? I teach weight training and PE. Okay. That's fun stuff. <laughs> um, are, you, are you the coolest teacher or are they watching? Oh, yeah, I'm the coolest teacher. Have you seen me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, I think I'm pretty okay. I'm really strict actually on the kids. <laughs> And what, what did the, uh, your kids think when you told them that you were coming to the UFC and now I'm sure a lot of them got a chance to watch you tonight? And what's it going to be like when you get back to class? Uh, same as normal. They're going to do some cardio. No, they were really ecstatic for me. They were super, super happy. They couldn't believe it. Oh, my God, my teacher is a UFC fighter. Um, so they were pretty stoked. And it feels good to have their support, their parents' support, and even my administrator's support. So it, it all worked out for me. How long do you plan on teaching if your career keeps progressing? Is it going to be hard to balance the two? Um, as long as the money keeps coming in, <laughs> I might have to take a leave for a little bit. But um, like my dad always told me, you have to have something to fall back on. You know, even though I was a great athlete in, in high school and in college, he's like, you have to have an education to fall back on. So no matter where it is that I go, I'm going to have something to fall back on. I it's a smart choice. Mm -hmm. Everybody needs money. <laughs> I know you've actually already told me the story of how you got your nickname, the, uh, the Bruiser. Yeah, Bruiser oh, that's right. <laughs> I, I would love for you to tell uh, everybody how you got this nickname. Well, I'm pretty sure story. my coaches could vouch for this. <laughs> but when I first started training, um, I was like a Tasmanian devil. I was like uh -huh. a, a newborn vampire. Word. I was just like all over the place. And I only had male partners to train with. So every male partner that I ever train with, they end up getting hit in the balls by me in some way, shape, or form. I either landed on them, hit them, elbowed them. They ended up bleeding somewhere like, oh my God, nobody makes me bleed my own blood but you. So I end up getting the name The Bruiser from just that particular incident. And it doesn't stop, it, it keeps going. I mean, I, I'm still clumsy and I accidentally fall. <laughs> Well, yeah. after that kind of win that you just had, very, very impactful, mm -hmm. very impressive. Uh, who, do you have your eyes set on anybody in the division? Um, the Just who's next, you know? I, I want to go to the top. I want to go as far as I can, um, as quickly as I can, obviously. Um, I'm having fun. Um, and so, yeah, this is this is... This was fun. Everybody's nice. I want to be here. I want to stay here. <laughs> I don't have to worry about teaching all the time. But no, it's good. It's good. Great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks.